And Chinese President Xi Jinping is holding video talks with EU leaders, hoping to firm up a key investment deal. The talks come as China's relations with the United States sour. Yes, let's dive a little deeper into this story with Dr. Chong Jia Ian from the National University of Singapore. And he joins us. So, Dr. Chong, uh, do get us up to speed with your thoughts then. What does President Xi Jinping want to achieve out of this video summit with EU leaders? So, I think um, the investment deal that uh, you had mentioned, that's probably uh, quite important. But beyond that, I think uh, China is looking for uh, a uh, foreign policy uh, victory of sorts. Uh, it's had a tough few months uh, with its foreign policy. And I think uh, she would very much like some positive news. Dr. Chong, no doubt Beijing is going to want to stabilize relations with the European Union, particularly because after the fallout of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. But is there enough common ground between both sides? So there is a fair bit of common ground in terms of the economics, right? So both sides will obviously benefit from trade. They'll obviously uh, benefit from investment. In fact, um, uh, China is... Uh, the, one of the EU's largest trading partner and the largest trading partner for se several of its major members, including Germany. Uh, but the issue is uh, whether economics trumps other things as well. The EU cares uh, very deeply about uh, its own sort of position on things like human rights. Um, it, I think, cares very deeply about how it is made to look after the COVID-19 pandemic when uh, China basically had asked uh, for EU demonstrations of, uh, of gratitude uh, after EU assistance uh, to, to China uh, had been played down. And European leaders, uh, we understand, are eager to present a uni united front against China. Do you think that Beijing is likely to make any concessions? So one of the things that we've seen about this current uh, Chinese leadership, especially this past few months, is that they've not been very uh, eager to make concessions or to be seen to make concessions. So while I think there is an underlying desire for a deal, the degree to which um, China is willing to give uh, in order to get that deal, I think, uh, remains in question. Uh, on, the, on the EU side, I think uh, they, they too uh, want some sort of arrangement, but how badly they want it uh, remains, I think, uh, in some debate. Dr. Chong, the national security law that was introduced in Hong Kong the situation with the Uyghurs, these are issues which European leaders have said are, are concerns that they've had. But do you think that they will be obstacles in striking a deal? Will they be in the way? I think they, they will present uh, complications, to be sure. They present complications because uh, the EU right now, uh, I think, feels it has to make a stand on human rights issues, in particular uh, because it is also making a stand on human rights issues uh, in relation to, to Russia, in relation to Belarus. So uh, it needs a certain degree of consistency in order to answer to their own uh, domestic audience. So in this uh, regard, I think uh, it's very difficult for them to look like they are giving way on these uh, core human rights issues uh, with China, but uh, trying to claim that they are standing firm uh, to their uh, immediate uh, neighbors to the east. And I add to now China has complicated the situation with the Inner Mongolia situation, uh, which has uh, led again, uh, supposed allegedly to uh, significant crack crackdowns there. And with that in mind, then, how much progress do you expect out of today's talks? So I think uh, it depends on what we mean by progress. Um, I, I would think that there would be, uh, at any rate, there'll be some claim of uh, success. Um, if things don't break down. And that claim, I think, can possibly lay the groundwork for uh, a, a future pathway to cooperation. But I am doubtful that there will be any major breakthrough. I suppose for right now, both sides would like to sh uh, demonstrate that they are uh, willing to talk, that they're willing to consider further conversations. I think that setting that tone uh, is probably quite key to this summit. Dr. Chong, thank you very much for your perspectives on that. Absolutely. Dr. Chong Jia Ian from the National University of Singapore there.